Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have got a new type of video for us. So I did as good of a research as I could and came up with a list of, what is this, like 14 or 15 new sewing patterns just released in August. These are obviously all indie patterns. So we're going to take a look at these together. It's a little bit like a first impression video, but not exactly because some of these I've seen on Instagram and you know, seeing the the pattern testers makes and all of that. Um, the first one is the Somerset Halter by Stitch Witch Patterns. It's turning into fall and winter. So this feels a little bit like unseasonal, but for those of you that are just now going into your summer, this is going to be great for you guys. Um, it's a quick and easy hot weather make, the perfect top for beach days and sun rays. The Somerset Halter makes, I'm sorry, features a mock bikini bust that is attached at the side seams mock bikini bust okay the front bodice hem has a dropped curve and the center back is fastened with four buttons the pattern is drafted on a b cup okay and sizes zero to 34 medium weight non-stretch wovens chambray linen twill printed cotton suiting and gingham that's an interesting list of suggested fabrics it is very very well fitted uh, or closely fitted so interested to see how fitting gets on for people with that. There's like barely any ease on her version and we only get this one picture. So that's all the um, info I have on it. Here's the line drawing. So once again, I guess I would understand it being so close fitted if it were shirred, but these buttons in the back, like how I, I, I genuinely don't understand how people button up the back of their garments. It is a very interesting concept. Certainly something unique and different that we don't see a lot. Yeah, I mean, of course, I wish there were more photos. Um, let's, okay, well, this is certainly helpful. Um, yeah, not as fitted, but definitely still very close fitting. But it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, the buttons are pulling. That's what I expected. If it were me, honestly, I'd convert either the whole back panel or at least like a portion of the back panel shirring and then forgo the buttons. All right, so that is Stitch Witch Patterns, the Somerset Halter, um, new pattern released in August. And I have listed all of these in the description box. And then if you are a patron, I have listed it with links um, so that you guys can easily find them. So head on over to my Patreon um, to join there to get that list. All right, this is the Martha skirt from So La La. It looks to be kind of just like a elastic waist skirt. This is it, yeah, it's just an elastic waist skirt. Um, worn high-waisted here, button placket or the tiers. Again, even those options are not exceptional great if you're a beginner sewist like if you're just starting out sewing this would be a good option um, we're not going to look too much at all of this but yeah easy peasy elastic front skirt i do wish oh it looks oh interesting okay so the way she's done it is she's pre-gathered the skirt and then attached the waistband on after that which feels like a lot of work. Am I right? Those of you that have made these before, do you not just like turn down the top edge of your skirt, top stitch it down, and then insert the elastic into it? Or do you do it in two separate places like this too? Because this one doesn't look gathered at all, this waistband. Where did the gathers live on that one? Interesting. So probably some unique construction going on there. So that is the So Lala Martha skirt. So next we have, what store is this? Sewing Machina. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. Um, it's the oversized Oscar sweater. So as you can see, are we going to get a description at all? Yeah. Etsy's a little bit like the Wild Wild West when it comes to buying patterns. Um, they're definitely not all created equal. This um, shop does seem to have like some really good reviews and lots of buyers so I would feel comfortable recommending it but here's the line drawing you can see that it's got kind of like a front yoke with like a half zip mock neck drop shoulder 
all but also this second sleeve part is like a drop shoulder and you have this bicep area and then this sleeve area too also these princess seams and elastic at the wrist and the waist oh there's a little video of it cute very gen z right very boutique looking very like trendy so i like her really thick elastic i like that a little bit better to be honest i really like this oh cute love the color blocking especially in this kind of like nylon-y type of fabric that's adorable here this has got to be like some kind of sweatshirting maybe lots of photos too this is like a thinner lighter weight so almost like a t-shirt version all right i kind of like oscar a lot especially for 657 that's such a good deal okay next up is izzo studios dove stone dress this is a versatile summer maxi slash knee length dress it's fitted across the bust and it flows loosely to the ground central slit um and then the knee length does not have any slit okay here's our line drawing so i think what's happening is it's just one flowy dress and then the oh the straps of the the shoulder straps become the waist straps okay this is cool this reminds me of the overalls Ooh, what is the name of the overalls um i can't remember the minor in like green like a kelly green oh i have the worst memory but you guys know what i'm talking about leave it in the comments below it's a great great little um jumpsuit pattern but it reminds me of that because their straps become the thing in the jig too and but that one does have a waist seam this one does not because i was even thinking that one has a the jumpsuit has a really low back so you could probably just lower all of this like remove some length from the back and still keep these carriers there and then just do it a little bit lower that could be really cute too you wouldn't be able to get this crisscross design that way but all right, that's really interesting. And then, of course, in addition to these options, you can also um, just, like, tack down the straps, I would think, right? And then just have, like, a flowy dress. Or you could, like, tie them to where they come through the belt carriers, but then just tie them right here so there's no waist definition at all. Yeah, like this. Oh, or just, like, the halter, duh. This is what I was suggesting. Okay, Dove Stone. I like that one. Okay, this is the Dressmaker's Closet, the Dolly Top. It's the cutest little top with lined yoke detail, ruffle hem, and two sleeve options. No fastenings. You just pull it on. So it's like a baby doll top. And then you add this little waffle here. Set in sleeves with gathers at the wrist. Yeah, not my personal style. I just don't see myself wearing this. Although I say that, I don't know, maybe, I was going to say, maybe a short sleeve version. I think, um, maybe it's harder for me to tell because she's wearing them over skirts, like just how she has them styled. It's harder for me to see myself in them. I mean, you can't go wrong with a baby doll look, right? Yeah, that already proportion wise looks better. I guess it's the crispness of the fabric. I really honestly don't even hate the pattern matching she did. Right? Can you see, though, because it's more fitted through here in this skirt, I guess, she's wearing? Um, it just gives, like, some, I don't know, it makes her look like she has, like, an actual body under there. That's cute, dolly top. Okay, next we have the Reina Ruffle Dress from Studio Rosado. Wow, okay. This is the iconic... This iconic ruffle dress features delicate spaghetti straps, playful ruffles, and a flirty above the knee slit, it, it, capturing early Y2K fashion. Wow, that is really pretty. This feels very, like, very high end looking, very luxury to me. I mean, she has it kind of a little bit styled down here, like dressed down, but I mean, this could obviously be a showstopper. Like, well, that could be like a resort wedding dress. Like if you did a destination wedding somewhere, oh look with the little rosette choker. I mean, I wouldn't wear this to Target, so I don't allow myself to buy things that I wouldn't also just wear to Target. But 
man, that is really pretty. You do have this version too, where you leave off all the ruffles. Or I guess you could just leave on some and take off others. Maybe in like the right kind, maybe the white is throwing me off. But in like the right kind of rayon or something that had like a casual print on it. I don't know. It is really pretty though, right? So we're in euros here. Oh my gosh. And euros and dollars are kind of almost the same right now. Um, so less than 10 bucks for sure. Okay. This is the Chanterelle pants and shorts from So Liberated. It is a little ease and a whole lot of fun to your wardrobe. Comfortable and easy to fit. Elastic waist. Wide leg. Barrel leg. And short views. Ooh, I do like the barrel leg. Chantrell will fit any gap in your wardrobe. All right, all right, let's take a look. So we've got shorts. Shorts seem a little fitted to me. Like a little, maybe they're just small for her, but look how tight they are on her thigh when she takes a step forward. Not so much here, not so much here. I don't know. But here's the barrel leg. Look how cute that is. With a little clog or sandal obsessed. And then here's the full wide leg pant. Oh, here we go. So it's like a little slash pocket. Oh my god, look at the set. Freaking adorable little set. Oh, back patch pockets as well. Okay, these are a little far apart. <laughs> like this one needs to be way over here. Probably at this line. And same with this one. Moved over two or three lines. But... Yeah, I don't know if the shorts take a narrower side seam. Something easy enough to play around with. They look pretty decent in the back. Yeah, they just seem like a lot straighter, right? This one flares out a little bit. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, are we back to the beginning yet? Oh, <laughs> these pictures are really, really sweet. Lots and lots and lots of pictures. All right, so what's the price point? Good grief, $17. Man, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. I just, I get it. I get that, you know, so Liberated is allowed and deserves to, you know, ask for as much money as they possibly want to for all the work that they put into these. But, man, I, I have a hard time. It's elastic waist pants. Okay, here's Ellie and Mac. They come out with a baby tee. It's exactly what you think, speaking of Y2K. Um, super close fitted, knit, stretchy, doesn't have to be a crop top, but they've obviously made a crop top version. It's just the fitted tee with the little short cap sleeve. You guys had a million of these 20 years ago, um, and they are definitely back. Um, the biggest thing here is, oh, and they put them with the low rise. They are leaning in. <laughs> they are leaning into this trend. My goodness. The biggest thing here is going to be finding fabric that has enough, enough stretch, but also still good recovery. You know, you don't want your, your fabric to be pulling so tight across here that it becomes like sheer or white. You know, sometimes it turns white. So all these people did a pretty good job with it. I think that Ellie and Mac mostly uses knits. So all their testers are pretty well versed in, in how to use knits. You have this little ruched option. I have a tutorial on my page about how I took like a regular t-shirt and did this hack. So if you like that detail but don't want to buy a new pattern, you can use this on any t-shirt. Crew neck, short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, long sleeve, and then also a scoop neck. Short crop length, long crop length, and shirt length. And then I don't know what a ruched crop length. And then tank style, oh, sleeveless, they mean. So yeah, always, always lots of options here. Here we go. All of those options, full size range, um, even all the way down to your teen sizing. So, all right. Next up we have, okay, thank you. This is the Jack t-shirt and blazer shirt from Notches Patterns. The possibilities of Jack are many, from a comfy t-shirt to a stylish blazer blazer shirt. With this set of sewing pattern parts, you can make up to 24 different garments. T-shirt with jersey neck trim. 
shirt with shoulder zipper and also two sleeve links shirt with overlap and jersey neck trim shirt with overlap and shoulder zipper shirt with double overlap and shoulder zipper blazer shirt I've never even heard of anything like this before, much less seen it. And I'm assuming since all the little like croquis were men, is this is this designed for men? I mean, my guy would never wear this. But if I saw somebody wearing it on the street, I'd be like, wow, that guy is very stylish. I mean, and if you wanted to make it for a lady, I mean it's just kind of like a robe, right? It's kind of giving like kimono, robe. Love those pants too. It is interesting concept for sure. Blazer shirt. Never heard of such a thing. All right, this is Lore PR. Forgive me if I'm not saying that correctly. Um, 18 euros. Tulip trousers sewing pattern. Okay, so trousers tailoring edition are full length pants with baggy leg silhouette. The highlight is the four centimeter high waisted waistband four centimeter high-waisted waistband okay tailored to flatter your figure adjustable hidden button elastic hidden buttonhole elastic hidden buttonhole elastic at the back allows for a customized fit and maximum comfort attention to fit is evident with two back darts front darts create a beautiful folded effect reminiscent of a blooming tulip Thin belt loops, welt pocket on the back side, functional side seam pockets with stay pocket bags. Easy dressing with a front zipper closure, finish fly, shield facing, invisible button, and a discreet hook and eye. Wow, okay. Allows for fabric scrap utilization, particularly for pocket accents. Interesting. Okay, let's. Uh, this button thing is throwing me off. So let's see if we can't figure out what she means by that. So you have your extra wide waistband. This is the folded over pleat situation. It is really beautiful. It does look like a tulip. Wide leg. Um, that's the welt pocket in the back. And even though it is a high-waisted pant, it doesn't look like diapers. It looks really nice and clean back there. Love that. Side seam pockets. Ooh, here it is in a denim or chambray. All right. Okay. Ooh, that's like a um, like some kind of suiting. Pretty. So I don't know what that means. Where did it again? Where did it go? Adjustable, hidden, buttonhole elastic at the back allows for customized fit. That makes me feel like in here somewhere is some kind of button with a buttonhole. Or at least like a loop. But how is it hidden? How wouldn't you be able to see that? I don't know. There needed to be a photo of that for sure. But really nice classic trousers for around $20. Okay, this is Designer Stitch. She came out with the Yasmin, wo Yasmin Woven Dress. It's a little wrap dress with um, a little elastic sleeve, some darting, a ruffled here, pretty, high-low hemline. Oh, they do a lot of photos at Designer Stitch, too. Yeah, really pretty, simple, elegant. This is not revolutionary in terms of sewing patterns, but classic design for sure. Love a wrap dress. Looks great on every single body type. Lots of people here using sheer sleeves. Yep, cute, sweet. Can't go wrong. All right, designer stitch. 
Now we have the So Love Patterns Kaya Dress and Top. So it's a center front seam, like pencil dress. Close fitted spaghetti straps, there's some darting. Versatile pattern top, mini dress or midi dress. There's option to make the dresses with or without elastic at the waist. And the midi dress has a front slit. Simple v-neck in the front and the back and is finished with partial lining. There's a central seam at both the front and the back, so it's perfectly designed for color blocking. That's all they're going to let us do in terms of, I want to make it big. Well, I can't make it big. Okay, so you can, as you can see, play around with different stripes, utilizing this center front seam, spaghetti straps. That's the same fabric in different colorways. Here's the elastic that they were talking about you can add if you want. Or belt it. I think that's the back with her, yeah. So a little funky on the fitting through the hip on her, but this feels, I don't know what the word is. Like, couldn't I just draft this myself? I mean, it is free. Free for the first month of release. So I don't know how much longer we have on that. All right, so love. And then we have Lydia Naomi, the Lulu frock. Ooh, this is cute. So this is like the... Like a play on the baby tee, right? But just lengthened into a dress with a little bit of flair. Rounded square neckline, cap sleeves, lined cap sleeves. Built-in bra. And no waist seam. Built-in bra. Good for her. Okay. Yeah, pretty little rib knit. Oh. Super cute. Super simple. Oh, that's a cute picture. Yeah, easy little throw-on dress. Might be a little on the short side for my taste. Let's see what everybody else is. Yeah, it could use a couple more inches depending on your height. Okay, lots of helpful information here. Video tutorial. And then back to the beginning. So they, it seems like they do a pretty good job of helping you navigate how to, you know, sew it and use PDF patterns and all that. Okay, lastly, we have the Genuinely M pattern company, um, their Florence PDF sewing pattern. So it is a dress with a little twisted bodice detail. Um, again, not anything new in, terms, in the sewing world, but um, just another option. 14 sizes, includes diagrams for how to blend sizes, Ideal pattern for intermediate. Blah, 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 blah. Reviews. Instant download. Okay. Let's look at the photos. So sleeveless, twisted top. Deep V. And then this pretty little... More of like a delicate um, skirt than I've seen on some of the other versions. Um, like a little, what is it? It's not tulip. I have that in my head from the other one. Mermaid? Oh, God, I'm so bad at those things. There's the back. The back looks really great on her. Yeah, I was going to say something about this on the other, the red version. This feels a little not correct on either version. A little low on her. The other one was a little bit um, too wide through here. So check the arm side if you make this one. Yeah, the back, the back is drafted really well. Yeah, all of you guys that are talking to your screens right now about not being able to wear a bra with it. Uh, yeah, that's true. You can't. And it's made evident whenever you have a fuller busted woman. But I mean, I don't think it looks bad. But it's, I'm sure, more of a comfort level than it is how it looks, right? And I don't have a full chest. So I don't know. I don't know what that would feel like. But this is what I was talking about with the arm side. Just a little bit funky through here. So check yours. But Okay, so that's it. Those are all the new patterns for August. Um, if I missed any, 
let me know. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Um, congratulations to all these designers for releasing these patterns last month. It is a huge feat that should not go unrecognized. And um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.